There is news tonight about the battle against Alzheimer's disease. A study out today says vitamin E might slow the progression of it in some patients. We asked Elaine Quijano to tell us more. Good girl. Ed Kaplicki first realized his memory was failing during a round of golf. What did you notice? I was playing with somebody and I couldn't remember his name. And I played with this guy for 15 years. His Who's wife, that? Patricia, says he'd already been forgetting his keys, wallet, and cell phone. I just sensed that there was something wrong. Um, and, but uh, at the time, I thought it, we could fix it. After a battery of tests, doctors diagnosed the 69-year-old with Alzheimer's in June of 2012. I couldn't believe it. You know, I thought my memory might be, be a little bit bad, but that's it. But not, not, us, not having the actual disease. And so what was your next step after that? After that, well, I decided that I was going to do as much as I could to get, get rid of the disease. Ready? The new study looked at whether vitamin E could benefit patients good like job. Kaplicki, who good suffer good. from mild to moderate Alzheimer's. It found that patients who took vitamin E saw a delay of up to six months in the progression of Alzheimer's when it came to performing everyday tasks. Dr. Mary Sano co-authored the study. And it was seen on the outcomes of functional abilities, activities of daily living, so that individuals who had mild disease, had benefits in things like uh, cooking, um, planning their uh, day, traveling, those types of activities. Since the exact cause of Alzheimer's is still being debated, researchers aren't sure exactly how the vitamin helps. They believe it protects brain cells from Alzheimer's damage. Is that something that you'd be willing to try, vitamin E? I'd be willing to try anything. If it's going to help, um, help me and help other people. Patients in the study were given 2,000 international units of vitamin E a day. Those patients required less time with caregivers and reported no serious side effects. Maurice, since the medication is inexpensive, the authors say it could be a cost-effective treatment. Elaine Quijano, thank you.